Alright, stay off grid here. How is everybody? Um, I'm just wiring up this winch on the uh, Razorback CMX 1402. Or we'll drive a brush cutter right on. So, it's uh, the, the manual that it comes with. It was really poor. The, the quality of the photos were really, really poor. And I couldn't make out anything, right? But I read the instructions, and the instructions say take off the cover here. So that cover is spanner on one side, and then it's a Phillips head uh, screw. So then it says remove the fuel tank. So I undid the bolts of the fuel tank. I won't show you where they all are, but because um, I'll tell you why in a minute. But I, I emailed the guy and said, can you give me a copy of the um, manual? It's just really, the quality of the pictures is really bad. So he sent me a new one in the email and, and the quality was a bit better. Still wasn't great, but you could make it out. And it says, yeah, remove the fuel tank. The only thing is in the picture, no, oh, sorry. The first thing it said, remove this cover here. And it also says, remove that. And I forgot about that, I just removed that cover, but it says remove cover and handle. So when I looked at these new pictures, it showed the tank here. So that's probably why this had to come off. Some of the other models must have the tank here, but not my model, the tank's up there. So anyway, then what I had to do, and it didn't mention this because this, yeah, in the instructions it was for a different different model, not my model. But I can't get that in now, but that was down inside there. So it was in here. Um, and I'll have to slide it back in later. But the thing is, is that I undid this bolt, bolt down the bottom there. And then you had to undo this bolt here on the fuel tank. And when that covers on, the only thing I could get in there was a spanner. Now I'm using a brand new spanner well, pretty new, right? So, 12 mil this spanner, right? Ratchet spanner, and it stripped the bolt. So, couldn't get that out. And so, what I had to do was just I hit it. I had to hit this with a hammer. You can see it's all bent now, but I was just trying to break it off at that um, rivet there. You know, it's a I don't know what they call those um, spot welds. It's a spot weld. So. There's only, there's no other bolt at the back. There's a bolt at the front and a bolt down there. And I just thought, well, stuff it, I've, well, I can't get this undone. I'll break it. Um, even now it's stripped, it's rounded. I've tried everything to get it out. I can't get it out, but I don't need to anyway now. Um, and it's just gonna be bolted back there and there. And this one, well, I can probably put a weld on it. Once it's in, I put, tack, put a weld tack there and it's so it's just not rattling. Now, the other thing it says is all these connections were different. So anyway, all I've done is neutral, turn the battery isolator off. Neutral is on this one, that's a neutral. So you can see that you've got another black cable here. So it's pretty easy to see that's neutral. Here's your starter motor. And there's the starter motor, or a solenoid, I guess it is. Um, don't quote me, but I there's two screws there and one goes to that so that's the side after it switches so i've put it onto this one and you then have this little duvalaki to plug that in so i guess you just keep that in a little bag somewhere but now so it's working no worries now another thing that it does have is a little plug that they say to put there an anderson plug so this is the Anderson plug, and I've got one terminal in there, but basically you just crimp the little terminals, they go in and they click in, and that means that you can just disconnect it. Now I was thinking, why? Why do I need to disconnect it? Um, but, and I wasn't gonna use it, uh, cause I just didn't, didn't worry, didn't think I was gonna worry about it, but, I would recommend now, after having said that, you do put it on. Um, it just goes here, and then the cables go through this hole here. 
Now, why you want to put it on is because if this thing stuffs up, or for some reason you want to take this off, I don't, like I don't want to take it off, but if it's broke and I have to take it off, then I can disconnect it here without pulling all this part apart again, right? So that's why you want to put it on. Um, and the other thing is, is that it's going to, I'm going to be able to shorten the cables to what they need to be instead of otherwise I would have just been wrapping them up in there somewhere. All right, so that's um, basically how you do it. Um, well, hopefully you don't have to, you don't strip that nut, and I don't know why that was. It's a new new shifter, a uh, new spanner. It's a new screw, so <clears throat> don't know why that happened. Um, but it did. So hopefully you don't do that, then you don't have to bash this thing up. But even to get it out, I still had to bend it a little bit. And it's got a little plug here, which is here. So you have to unplug that first to be able to slide it this way and pull it up out of there. So I've got to get that back in. Um, so now I'm going to shorten these cables. And then I'll put it all back together and we'll have a look at it then. So... All right, that's it. Get back to you when it's done. So I have, have mounted the Anderson plug here. However, these little crimps are too big. Now, looking at the cable, it looks like they'd probably be the right size, but this has got really, really thick insulation on it. And it's a really, really, it's a thinner strand of wire. So there's no way that's gonna work. You could fold them over. It's still not gonna work. So what I've used here is um, BP connectors, connections, I don't know what that, Blue, Blue Point is actually a brand I think, but anyway, these, we call them BP connectors. Now this one is actually, an, the two screw one is actually for earth cable, but I've used it anyway, here and here, I've taped them up, I just had that one to show you. Um, because the single wire one, single screw ones, which if you're active and you're neutral, I just thought with this being, you know, going off road and bouncing around and whatever, or going over real rough ter ter terrain, it's better to have the two screw one. So, you know, it just holds it in there a little bit better. So then this is now going to be, um, and yeah, and this is just so that if I do have to take that off, I don't have to pull everything apart again, right? And it'll just get um, cable tight. I'll probably put them in the wrong spot for the look of it, but. Anyway, they'll get cable tied up here somehow. All right, all right, so I've just kneaded this up a little bit with some cable ties. Um, the cover, now, the only reason they're there, I cut them, these ones, a little bit too short because they were going to go to the Anderson plug there. So that's how long they needed to be. But the way I've done it now that they, it, I should have actually done this maybe a little bit further in because when the cover's on here, you can still get into this part here and at worst if I put it here um, like if I put it over here somewhere then you just have to take that cover off which is just three screws and stuff all you know but that's all right that's fine um, and now I just have to panel beat panel beat this back into shape all right so this is that cover back on now it's missing its screw there. Oh, well, it didn't have a screw there. It had a um, spot weld onto a bracket. Pretty good. Um, and it's not touching that, but it's not moving. So there's no big deal. It's fine. Yeah, so now I'll just put that final cover on and um, she's done. All right, so just a screw there for that. Screw there for that. This one's got a welded in nut. This one, you have to hold the nut. Um, this one I haven't put in yet because I've lost a little rubber for it, so I've got to find that. I think if I just move the thing, the mower forward, I'll find it. Okay, so how to use this winch? Um, pull this rubber off there. You've got a little connection there. Now, this is the controller. It's a bit dirty, but um, you plug this controller in. It only goes on one way and what I will probably get find I'll get a um, some sort of little pouch for this but a waterproof pouch because you're going to want to keep it under the seat or at the back of the seat and I keep this out 
outside I haven't got a garage to put it in so it's going to get rained on so you want a waterproof pouch for it so now what you do to get rather than just run this out manual uh, with the with the controller you pull pull that out and twist it and then you can just pull this out you then have to it's got a little slot in it so then you just flick it back to that angle and it goes back in then you've got on the controller it says in and out in. that's it I'm stay off grid hope you enjoyed I'm stay off grid I hope you enjoyed that if you've got to get a winch for your razor back well that's how you do it um, maybe on this model on the CMX uh, 1402 I think maybe the ones with the bigger mower have the they with the bigger motor they may not have the fuel tank there the instructions I got the fuel tank was here um, so yeah the instructions were not not for this machine so um, I don't know what the story is there I emailed the bloke <coughs> and um, let him know also I told him I'll put this video up so he can tell show people if he has to <laughs> all right I'm Sarah Grid have a nice day